Hi, Jody. Hi. Thank you for um, answering some of my questions for me. My pleasure. <laughs> oh, good. Um, I just was hoping that you could tell me, how did Ski Juice come about? She came around uh, by jo, Joanne Damney. She was a beauty therapist in the salon. She, there was a gap in the market for a natural organic frames that could be professionally prescribed as well as having professional treatments um, to back up what the therapists were recommending. So she, she started um, making products in the salon. Clients started to um, use them and then as natural regression happened, clients moved away and um, when the, the clients went to a new salon, those um, therapists would ask them what products they were using and they'd say, I'm using skin juice, where do you get that from? Um, and they'd tell them and uh, they'd call Joe up and ask if they could start um, selling skin juice in their salons as well. So mm. not only is the product organic, but it also grew organically as well. And it just got to the point where she was um, selling to so many salons, uh, she thought, I can do this full time. Yeah. And... Um, you know, make a full-time business out of it. So it's just grown from strength to strength and we have um, new products being released all the time and um, she's always creating. Jo is a natural creator and um, has lots of, of um, formulas that she uh, keeps on introducing as well, which is fantastic. How how long ago was it that she did start Skin Juice? She started formulating in 1996. Ooh, so we're coming up what, 20 years nearly? Ooh, 18 oh. years. We are, yeah. We're, we're in our teenage years. So we're almost there. She doesn't look old enough to have a business that old. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell me then, why why would someone use skin juice as opposed to one or many of the various other skincare ranges that are out there? Well, one of the difference with skin juice is that we use pharmaceutical grade quality um, ingredients. So when you have a, to say, for example, cranberry um, oil, if you have the first press of the oil, that's where all the nutrients are stored. Um, every press after that becomes, um, you know, it's still cranberry oil, but it doesn't hold as much nutritional value for the skin. So we're using pharmaceutical grade um, ingredients that are all digestible and all bioactive. So if you have a synthetic version of cranberry oil, it's actually not going to be digested into the skin. It'll feel and um, smell pretty, but it won't mm -hmm. actually um, be compatible for the skin. The skin doesn't recognize it, doesn't know how to digest the um, ingredients. So you're using a range that is um, bioactive, compatible, and um, digestible for the skin. So you're going to be strengthening the skin mm. each time you're using it as well. Oh, beautiful. Um, can you specifically tell me about the cleansers? Because there's three. There's Drench, which is the oil one. Eden, which is the, what do you call it, a milk or a cream cleanser? Yes, yeah, in, in between. It's like a milky uh, cream cleanser um, with your fruit acids. And pulp as well. What, yeah. Um, what kind of skins would you use for each um, product? When, Vice versa. <laughs> yeah, when you have a naturopathic um, approach to skincare, which is what Skin Juice is, you can have um, one cleanser that, or one product that works differently on different skin types. Because your skin knows what to do with the ingredients, it doesn't have to have a specific skin type to um, register those ingredients. So it's like when you drink water, your body doesn't go, oh, I need a delivery system for this water. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know where it's mm. got to go. Your body just knows that it needs to cleanse out your organs. It knows where to send all the um, the, the water and nutrients throughout your system. So the same thing with skincare. Um, you can have, for instance, the Drench Cleanser is, has a pH of 7, so it's very neutral, um, and you can use it for pretty much all skin types. You can use it for an oily acne skin type, um, but it's a heavy makeup wearer. You can use it on a dry, sensitive skin. Um, you can use it in skins that have very, um, got impaired barrier function, so they're very reactive and they're needing rebuilding. So it's one product, but can be used on many different skin types. Same with the Eden. Eden Cleanser is a creamy cleanser with your fruit acids. So it's very gentle um, and the fruit acids will help to dissolve all those dead skin cells. It's got kakadu plum in it, um, which will help to uh, with your vitamin C content. And your pulp cleanser is a um, cleanser for your oily acne skin types. Um, it, none of our cleansers will strip the, the 
the skin. Um, mm. We don't believe in foaming gel cleansers that are going to wear the skin down. Every product that you use with skin juice has a strengthening and fortifying effect on the skin. We don't want to wear your skin down and then create a second problem that needs to be fixed with a different product. That defeats the whole purpose for us. Mm. So yeah. none of our cleansers bubble. If your, if your cleanser um, feels tight on your skin after you finish cleansing, that's your skin your skin screaming out for help and mm. it's needing oil to be rebalanced into the skin. So every time you feel that dry, tight feeling, your skin then has to play catch up. So you can use the most expensive moisturizer in the world, um, but your skin still has to play catch up. Mm. So after using a skin juice cleanser, you're going to have your skin feel soft, supple, um, clean, but not stripped and not crying out for, for moisture. It will feel um, beautiful and soft. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a question because um, the other day when we did the skin juice training, you admitted something that I totally resonated with me. You used to be an oil phobic on the skin. Yes, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a reformed oil phobic. I admit it. I'm out there. I need to get a special help group happening, I think. There's lots of us out there. Yeah. Um, previously to using skin juice, I had avoided oil like the plague. Um, yeah. My training was oils create um, more pimples, they create congestion and blockages. So I put every oil in the same basket. So mm -hmm. luckily I have been um, re-educated and I know the difference now and my skin is much more happy for it. That The difference with a natural oil that is digestible as opposed to a mineral synthetic based oil that made from petroleum. So yeah. petroleum is where we get petrol from. So it's not kind for the skin and long-term use of these types of oils will cause like a glad wrap effect over your skin. Yeah. So if, if you are using something that is suffocating your skin, then absolutely it will have a, um, a, a negative effect. But using natural oils that are breathable and digestible are completely different for the skin. Um, I too was an oil phobic and I have to admit like it did take me a long time to actually you know, put it into my head that it was going to be okay. Putting yes. the oil Trusting. Oil you've got to oil trust. Oil. You've got to trust the skin juice. <laughs> so, so right. And, and I did. And, like, I'm quite happy with the, the feel, like, you know, use the dry hands, dry face, apply the drench oil on the face. There is a little bit of, like, a residue that you can still feel after the skin. And did you suggest, was it the spud sponge to Absolutely. use it afterwards? There's, I think as therapists, we have to look at every client as individual. So what we like the feeling of may not necessarily be what the client likes the feeling of. So I've talked to many um, clients who love the feeling of that, that um, comfort oil on their skin where it's, it's um, protecting their skin throughout yeah. the day because they need that, that level. For me, I like the light, fluffy feeling um, of, of uh, the cleanser. So the spud sponge is the best way to give your client that light, fluffy feeling without stripping, without scratching, without causing over-abrasion. And you can use it around the eye area too. So a lot of people won't do any type of um, micro-exfoliating around the eye area because it's too sensitive and, and um, an area. So you can mm. use um, the spud smudge sponge with the spuddy and mm. um, that will remove everything gently uh, and softly off the, off the skin. Uh, this is a pretty hot picture of you on the Facebook forum with the um, smudge sponge. I might have to put that in the um, in the training so everyone can see. Please, please <laughs> do so. Um, I am nuts for skin juice and that is an example. <laughs> Awesome. I'm, I'm, I encourage everyone to put a little smudgy photo of themselves up there and be a smudgy superhero. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, uh, with the tonics, you've, there's two. One of them is my all-time favourite, which is BioJuice. Yeah. Um, and then multi-juice. Um, where would you, should everybody be using a tonic or who should be using it, who shouldn't? Everyone should be using a tonic. The reason we call them tonics or um, drinks for the skin is because with our cleansers, because they don't strip the, um, the acid mantle and change the pH to the point that uh, like old-fashioned toners used to have to rebalance your pH because the, the cleanser beforehand had damaged it. And we don't, none of, none of our cleansers damage your pH. So we don't need to balance the skin as such, but you do need to give your skin a balance between oil and water. Because if you have a lot of oil and not enough water in your skin, that's going to cause an issue and vice versa. 
Mm. So if someone's coming in and they're dehydrated and they're really needing um, their hydration levels worked on, then the balance needs to be um, corrected. So your, your tonics are like an antioxidant drink for the skin and that's going to work on your um, water in the skin which will hold all of these nutrients as well. Um, your multi-juice is more for your normal calm type of skin um, but you can still use it on skins that are sensitive um, that might be slightly oilier as well because the um, you've got your cucumber, your aloe vera in there that are very, very calming and soothing on the skin but it's a very um, lighter type of feel whereas the bio juice is a little bit more viscous. It has sort of like a little bit more um, hold to it and that's from the suco gel that's in it which is derived from corn and soya. And cool. those ingredients will help to um, keep the hydration on the skin um, throughout the day and it creates like a biofilm that breaks down. Um, so that the bio juice is fantastic for your sensitive dry skins or people who are flying a lot, uh, people who are in hospitals or really um, harsh uh, air conditioning that um, are out in, in uh, outdoors that really need that um, protection of hydration on their skin. Yeah. Beautiful. Also, bio juice smells like fruit loops on your face. It's it does. Awesome. It's like a little, it's a little <laughs> fruit tingle for your skin, and um, it's healthy, so it's, it's good for you. It's awesome. I, I will ask this question. I'm, I'm not sure how relevant it will be for much longer. The pumps that go on the retail pack, we have to try them. Like we've, okay. we've changed them all over, um, so they're all coming pre um, uh, pre top with the pump already in them. Okay, because it is a viscous like consistency. Everything, yeah. <laughs> yeah, up the balls, yeah. Because it's a viscous <laughs> consistency, um, yeah. it means that when you do that first pump, it's got the pressure behind it and it just um, gets a little bit overexcited. So <laughs> we've got a new pump that has a bigger um, syringe. The only problem with this pump is that if you are travelling with it, you do need to um, squirt it down and then twist it. Whereas the other ones were great because they were lockable, you didn't have to twist it down first. Or so, there is a better solution that is have a travel pack that you I'm take so with you. I'm so glad you mentioned that, Amy. Yes, our I travel pack. Them. Yes. yes, our travel packs are great because it's not single use and throw away. We're thinking about the environment, and you can refill all of your um, travel size um, potions and lotions in in um, to go. Awesome, love it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, I want you to tell me a bit about the hydrators because there are a few, aren't there? Yes, we, we like to call them the skin quenchers. Yeah. Um, these are all protectants for the day. Um, like all of our products have no um, artificial fragrances, pegs, parabens, factants, artificial emulsifiers, perfumes. Um, so with our moisturisers, it does give you a um, level of protection throughout the day <clears throat> using plants um, to inf infuse and protect the skin. Sorry, I'm going to lose my voice now. <coughs> so um, you've got your citrus, your quench, and your flower. Um, flower has just been changed into a pump pack, so it's now in a beautiful pink container. Um, so no fingers in pots anymore. Um, flower is... We call it an ultra-rich hydrator, but I like to say it's ultra-rich in nutrition as opposed to thickness. Um, there's a lot of brands out there who have very, very thick, thick types of creams that are based with lanolin and they're very suffocating for the skin. Um, the flower is not like that. Um, if you do like the, the feel of the moisturiser to be penetrative in a bit more, then I would put it on when your skin's still wet with your, um, your tonic or your juice, so your bio juice and multi-juice. Mm -hmm. Your quench is more for a sensitive um, skin type and it has a lantern um, and aquatine which are de derived from the prickly pear um, cactus and they're designed to hold moisture within the skin to cause um, uh, protection. The quickest way to age your skin is through sensitive skin because it becomes thin um, mm. and it, it'll show the signs of aging a lot quicker. Yeah. Uh, so we're trying to create that hydration and that protection there so it doesn't age as quick. And then your citrus is more for your oily, normal calm skins. With having said that it's an oily skin um, moisturiser, it's still not void of essential fatty acids or antioxidants. Every single product in skin juice has antioxidants in it that are going to help to um, uh, protect and build the skin and help against the free radicals. So even if you've got an oily skin type, 
um, and they might be a bit older and they're still breaking out and they need the citrus, you can still give them the assurance that they've still got antioxidants in their um, product range. It's not an empty cream as a lot of um, acne products out there can be. Yeah. Um, on that, there is a serum in particular that is awesome for the acne sufferers. <gasps> liquid, liquid gold. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about that one. Liquid is, uh, it, it's the first um, acne product that I've ever used that actually works um, and you can use it in different uh, ways. It has um, an ingredient in it called tartaro which is a um, resin extracted from recycled timber in New Zealand and this resin has the ability to be antimicrobial for any infected pimples, it's going to help clear that up. It's got mandelic acid which is derived from bitter almonds and mandelic acid has a bigger molecular size than your glycolics. It's a BHA and an AHA, so it has the ability to work on dead skins and um, uh, oil buildup as well without causing any um, uh, chance of hyperpigmentation. Because a lot of glycolic products for acne um, on certain skin types will cause hyperpigmentation and that again is causing another product, a byproduct that you have to fix up with another treatment. So we, we want to keep um, the, the skin's protection level up as high as possibly so we don't cause any type of reactions um, further down the track. It also has salicylic acid in it um, which again works on oil and um, dead skin build up. Salicylic acid is actually derived from um, the willow tree which is where they get aspirin from. But having said that, aspirin is not in our product and aspirin um, will not do the same effect as salicylic acid. It has been over-processed and added and cut with other things that will not um, have the same benefit. So no, we don't put aspirin um, in our liquid. You can use this on, as a spot treatment, just on big blinding pimples, um, on, on that, you know, the nose area where you just get really tight um, blackheads but you can't extract them. Mm. You can use it on that. You can use it um, if someone's wearing um, a blush that is causing a lot of uh, congestion under the skin. They're not blackheads, they're not pimples. It's just all the little tiny bumps. A lot of people get them on their jawline and on their cheeks. Um, mm. You can just keep on using that over that area. Same with milliers. And eventually it just gets to the point where it just the, the oil will dislodge without even having to do extraction. Yeah. Um, so it's very, very gentle. It won't dry the skin out. Um, we do still recommend that clients are using um, this during the day underneath their moisturiser and then using the fused drops of the night time because while someone does have an oily acne breakout skin, they still need to get their essential fatty acids and all their um, lipids to regulate the overproduction of oil that they're experiencing in the first place. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Because we predominantly work with pregnant women, I know a few beauty therapists will probably listen to this and go, oh my God, it's got BHAs and salicylic acid in it. Mm. It's at 2%, which is safe for pregnancy. So everything that in our range has been tested um, at levels, safe for pregnancy. Cool. Um, if someone is um, using a higher percentage uh, product, well, that I, I obviously can't speak for that, but for the skin juice range, Joe has specifically designed them for pregnant women um, to be able to use because not everybody has glowing, beautiful skin when they're pregnant. A lot of people go through <laughs> hormonal changes mm -hmm. and they suddenly get told by the therapist, oh, sorry, you can't use this. This product is now not safe for you. Mm -hmm. um, we want everybody to treat their skin as if they're pregnant all the time. Yes, um, and yeah, that that that's a, a great testament for Jo because she she wants to strengthen a pregnant lady's skin instead of wearing it down or putting ingredients into the. It, it doesn't make sense to us. It's like okay, put all these dangerous chemicals on you when you're not pregnant, and then when you suddenly do get pregnant, stop yeah. them. But then once you don't have the baby, then you can go back on all those you know terrible things. So we want to yeah. make sure that everybody's always feeding their skin the healthiest um, ingredients all the time. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, while we're talking about performers, can you tell me a little bit about Shine and who you would use that on? Shine, I like to think as a resurfacer for a dry skin type. You don't have to just be dry. You can have your, your normal comb skin type too. But Shine is very versatile for clients who can't use a revival scrub. Um, any type of friction is too much for their skin. So Shine is the... Um, uh, 
a resurfacer with the papain enzymes in it. Papain enzymes are uh, derived from pawpaw and they will only ingest dead skin cells, so all the dead protein that's sitting on the surface. They won't eat living flesh, which is good. Um, and they, they're like little Pac-Men um, that will just ingest. Um, you don't need to physically scrub the skin. Um, so whereas with a, a fruit acid, um, is loosening up all the bonding around the cells, the papain enzyme actually eats the cell. Um, Shine also has your vitamin C in it too, which is brightening and lightening for the skin. Um, so would you would you be recommending that in cases of pigmentation during pregnancy? Yes, if someone's got pigmentation, um, then yes, it will help to lighten. The vitamin C um, powder that's coming out soon will be a great um, product to add. But I think the main thing is educating people, and if you can get them before they're pregnant or just starting, the reason um, people will have hyperpigmentation is because their cells aren't very strong. They're very weak. And then when your system gets overloaded with all the pregnancy hormones, your system goes, oh, I need to protect it. I need to protect the skin. It's weak. It's weak. I'll, I'll just flood a whole heap of melanocytes over there and that'll protect it. If your cells are strong in the first place, when they receive all those hormones, your cells aren't going to automatically overpigment. So the sun juice is the best thing to um, protect the, the client's skin. And giving those essential fatty acids and strengthening the cells, what will happen then is your own natural protection and your own natural um, amount of time that you can go into the sun without getting any sunburn will actually increase. So you're increasing your own natural sun protection and the cells and it will lessen your chance of getting uh, pigmentation. We love the philosophy of prevention is better than cure. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you can educate those clients of why using all these, um, like your fused night oil, why using your um, sun juice during the day is going to keep your skin at, um, at, at optimum health so that when it does come across stress, because we can't avoid stress, Mm. When you are pregnant, when you are hormonal, um, these these things change and we can't change them from happening but what we can do is strengthen the skin so that when they do happen, the result is not as severe. So if you've got someone coming off the pill, for instance, they're coming off the pill because they want to fall pregnant, um, they might be a bit scared because their skin's going to go through heaps of changes and throw out pimples. If your skin is strong and then you go off the pill, when your skin throws out a pimple, it will be able to be cleared up so much quicker and it's not going to scar and it's going to recover. Whereas if your skin's weakened, you're not giving it any nutrients, but your skin's going to break out, it's going to sit there for ages, it's going to fester, it's going to scar and then by the next month, um, there'll be a new set of pimples to add to the, the old scars. So we want to keep everything turning over, going to the gym for your skin, keeping everything moving and not letting it be lazy. If you bombard mm. your skin with heaps of um, chemicals that are going to override your natural system, the minute you stop using those chemicals and your skin has to think for itself, it's like, oh, what do I do? We want to get the skin thinking for itself. We want to get it processing all these um, ingredients. For instance, we've got carrot seed oil in um, the recovery and that converts to vitamin A on the skin. So rather than just putting straight sort of like synthetic retinol on your skin, we're actually getting your own skin to convert it to vitamin A, which is still safe for pregnancy. It's like eating carrots, you know, they're, they're, mm. they're, they're safe. Your vitamin A that's not a synthetic and high dose is perfectly fine when you're pregnant. Yeah. Um, hypothetically, you have someone come in and they're, I don't know, seven months pregnant and they haven't been using skin juice so they haven't been strengthening up their skin and they are suffering with pigmentation. Yeah. Would would you recommend that they had a particular course of action or a particular product that you would be um, getting them to go home with? The, the four daily requirements is your, your base where you want to start um, and then add on to it. So your your cleanser, your juice, your fused night oil and um, moisturiser, and if you can get them onto the sun juice, um, even better. Mm -hmm. um, Treatment-wise for the salon, your plumberry is going to be um, a great option or like your level one peel, which is just your lactic acid. You can add vitamin C into it. The problem is when you are pregnant and you've got the pigmentation there, as long as those hormones keep on getting produced, doesn't matter how much you would um, fade the pigmentation, it's going to come back. Same if you're on the pill. 
if whatever is feeding that pigmentation is still there in the first place, um, you've got a client who will um, come in and have a peel, lighten the pigmentation, but then not wear any sun protectant. And the minute they go on a big holiday, all that pigmentation will just come straight straight back. So it defeats the purpose. Yeah. While you're pregnant and your skin is, uh, and your body's still producing all those hormones, you can definitely lighten and you can definitely um, uh, reduce it subtly, but it's going to keep on being produced. Um, because it's coming from within. It's not yeah. um, a, a friction type of pigmentation. So you can get pigmentation from just something rubbing on your skin. So a lot of um, girls will get pigmentation from dermabrasion when they're pregnant because the friction is too much for their skin and it wants to over-pigment to protect. Um, so I'd always um, steer clear of anything that's going to be too over-stimulating. Um, the plumberry peel and the level peels, the Juicy, which is the vitamin C powder, which will be um, released, will be fine. You can add that into your moisturiser and protection for their skin for the, the sun juice during the day. Beautiful. Um, there's one more performer. Uh, that juice. is the Juice Drop. Yes. Yes. So Juice Can Drop that one? is a great one, especially in, in your um, day spa as well, because a lot of uh, girls, they get their Botox when they're before they're pregnant and they get pregnant they don't want to have Botox they're, they're worried about the effects on, on the baby so this is fantastic for those people who um, they are concerned with aging they want to do something naturally and they're concerned with the lines in particular so juice drops are um, designed to plump from the inside out so it's not like one of your um, oh, you've seen them on TV like your blur creams where they're they're silicones that are designed to fill in the gaps from the, the outward in. Our um, product is designed to plump from the inside out. So you've got matrix oil, Simply Six peptide, mm -hmm. the, and the Amnilox, which will increase um, the dermal plumping under the skin um, and help around the, the crow's feet and um, the, the forehead lines as well too. So it's a natural regenerator using liposomes that derive from um, natural ingredients. Um, and uh, if someone's concerned with aging in general, like they just want to prevent aging, they might be a younger skin type and they're just worried about lines, or they're a little bit older and they're wanting to add a product into their already um, regime. So they'll put this underneath their um, moisturizer during the day. Mm -hmm. Uh, I love to add the vitamin C powder to it, you know, every you know, second week and wear it to bed um, as a intensive treatment as well as wearing it underneath my own. So you, you would be cleansing, putting a tonic on, then you would put your performer on. Yeah, I like to. Yeah, I like to put the. I, I pump a couple of squirts of the the juice drops into my palm. Then I get the vitamin C powder, mix that into um, the palm so it's like a little paste mm -hmm. and then put that all over my skin. So it sort of has like a white type of look yep. um, and that's why I like to do it at home and go to bed with it on. Um, to impress but, your partner, I'll be Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. I'm um, <laughs> So in the morning when I wake up, my skin's glowing. Uh, other other girls here that work here, they love putting a little bit of the vitamin C just in their juice drops or in their moisturiser during the day and they wear it under their makeup. Yeah. So it's however suits you and whatever you like the feel of. I just like adding more and doing an intensive treatment, but my skin can handle it. If your skin is impaired and it's more sensitive, then you're better off doing a little tiny bit of the vitamin C and just doing it over small doses um, throughout the day um, underneath your moisturiser. With the vitamin C powder, only because I've had this experience before, can you overdose on that? <laughs> it's not, Having too much of a good thing is not necessarily going to quicken your results. If you've mm. got a sensitive skin, it's going to feel like hundreds of little ants crawling out all over your face. Um, so a little bit often is better than too much all at once. And it's our powder is just the... It's 100% allosclopic acid. So you can't mix it with your oils. It's only designed to be mixed in with your moisturizers or your performers. So don't mix it with your fused or your recovery um, oils. And too much is not necessarily going to give you better results and quicker. You're better yeah. off doing smaller amounts 
over a longer period of time and that's constantly going to be um, strengthening your skin. So yeah, don't overdo it. <laughs> the um, In professional treatments, I know the girls um, gosh, I'm just trying to think. They put it in the peel off mask, is that right? You put it in the plumberry peel. Oh, in you, the plumberry peel. Yeah, right. when you mix it with the plumberry, um, it'll go like little white balls. It doesn't mm-hmm. mix completely in when you're stirring it. So if you keep on trying to stir it for it to disappear, it won't. So just um, mix it for a little bit and then pour half of it into your hand and you massage in the plumberry over the face because the massage actually helps with the lupine enzymes to activate. Yeah. And then mix in the second um, half as well, avoiding starting over the eyes because when you do that, um, if you drop a little bit into the eyes, it'll be very uncomfortable for the client. So just starting around the chin and working your way around. But beautiful slow massage movements. It doesn't have to be fast. Just make it as relaxing and as beautiful as possible for them because the contact um, of the movement when they're doing the massage will help disperse that little prickly feeling that's happening with the um, the vitamin C in the plumberry. Yeah. Um, you mentioned before recovery, which is one of the tinctures which we can use for professional at the moment, but you're about to release that for yep. retail. For retail. That's going to be your um, reduce. And that's going to be designed for, it's got a couple of extra things added into it for the um, the retail market. So for clients who have rosacea, so they're still breaking out, but they're really, really sensitive and their capillaries need to be strengthened, you can use it for them. Um, for an acne client, because it's got the evening primrose oil, evening primrose oil is fantastic at hormone um, balance. So you should encourage clients to be taking it internally as well, um, mm. not the reduce, like Evening from around the plant. And um, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be able to be benefited for a client who the fuse is, is fantastic for, um, for all skin types. So you can still recommend that. But if someone's not particularly concerned with aging and they're not worried about fine lines being plumped out, then um, you want to go with your reduce. So your rosacea, your sensitive, your capillary, like skin's are really flush really easy mm. and your oily acne, who's still needing those essential fatty acids at the night time, but they're not necessarily needing the fuse. So you've got the choice um, then with those two. Um, the other option in the professional treatment, so you would choose a tincture of recovery yes. or? Enliven. Enliven is your oxygenating tincture. So someone who might be a smoker, they're sallow, they're dull, um, they might have just come through a big illness um, and they're looking for a bit of pet me up, they might be you know, going through stress um, and they're just needing the, the skin to be motivated and um, activated. So this will help to flush, just like coffee does, it's got, it's got green coffee um, oil in it which is not your blend, um, Nescafe Blend 43, it's not roasted coffee, it's got all the nice. good nutrients yes, in there still. So this will help, as, as what coffee does, it's a diuretic, it flushes everything out of your system. So we're wanting the cells and the capillaries to be flushed so that um, new uh, blood and new nutrients can be um, increased into the area to create that oxygenating um, look to the skin. Okay. One of my favourite products, and that is Fuse. Yes. Should everyone be using that? Everyone needs to use Fuse, and it's such a versatile product, um, the way you can use it as well. And that's a great thing with skin juices. If you've got one product and a client's um, coming in and they're like, oh, I need to, I need more moisture, I need more this, you can say, well, you can actually increase your dosage of the Fuse at the night time, or you can wear it underneath your moisturiser during the day. Um, so they love you because you've saved them a bit of money um, and they've also got a, a, a second use now for the one product that they've already got at home too. So with oils, um, like we were talking about before, the reformed oilophobic, um, when you're using oils on your skin, it is rebalancing. Um, it is hydrating. It is encouraging the skin to be and the cells to be strong. Um, when you have an oily skin, it's actually going to help your skin to stop overproducing the oil so it's going to regulate it. When you've got a dry skin, it's going to keep the hydration up to the skin and keeping everything firm and plumped. Um, 
you've got your comifolarian in it, which is from the mukti tree. And comifolarian is actually used in a lot of breast pumping creams because it actually is um, clinically proven to plump the um, adipose cells out and makes them firmer and um, and bigger. So your fine lines, your crow's feet, um, you know, even acne scars. I find my scarring looks so much more plumped because um, I've had acne forever. Mm. So your skin just looks fuller and more plump and healthy as well. You get that glow. People are very um, quick to grab a scrub when their skin's looking very sallow mm. um, and and it's feeling buff and dry. Um, if, if I've got a client coming in and they've said that to me, the Fuse is actually the first product that I'm going to rec recommend over a scrub yeah. because these oils are going to soften the skin. You're actually going to feel the difference with the softness the next morning. Um, it's also got um, macadamia oil in it, which is a high in omega-7s, and they will help to encourage your cell um, communication. So all those intercellular channels that are maybe not talking to one another, it helps to encourage those to start working. Um, it's also got camellia oil in it, which is um, was discovered by a botanist over in China. All the ladies who were milling all the um, camellia seeds would just rub a little bit onto the back of their hands and in their hair. And he kept on saying to them, what are you using? What skincare do you use? You know, everything is so soft and beautiful. And I said, we don't use anything. And then he realized, ah, oh, they're, they're just milling the, the seeds and rubbing a little bit into their skin, mm. creating this softness. So what clients will find when they start using Fuse is they won't be grabbing for the scrub every, you know, second to third day because their skin, yeah. when they're cleansing, will feel so soft and so beautiful. Anyone that's got clogging in their, their skin, so you've got the blackheads. Oils actually help to break down rancid oils. And those rancid oils that are stuck and clogged in the skin and not moving, they're not budging, you can't extract them. Over time of using fuse, you'll find a massive difference in that too. And then, like we were talking about before with the pigmentation, if your cells are plumped, if your cells are communicating, if they're working, they're not going to automatically over pigment and um, flood with melanocytes to protect themselves. The skin is going to um, um, uh, fight off for itself. Yeah. So it's an amazing product. It's so versatile and every everybody can use it. Um, even the omega-7s in the macadamia oil will help with inflammation for rosacea, um, breakouts like cyst pimples that are really inflamed. It will help to bring those down. The difference will be just how much you use depending on what skin type. So the drier the skin type, the more fuse you'll use, the oilier you are, the less. And you, you can change your dosage pending the season, pending the skin's needs. Um, you know, seasons change and everyone's skin needs change as well. So typically it would be one of the daily requirements, so in the evening. Yes. The daily requirements, your cleanser, your juice, your fuse and your day quencher. So it's just like breakfast, lunch, dinner and dessert for the skin. And um, just because we haven't said it yet, you generally do your cleansing at night time yes. as opposed to the traditional train of thought of doing it in the morning, which I guess makes sense because you go outside all day or you're inside in air conditioning, you've got various bits and pieces that are happening to your up. skin. Yeah. And then you need to take that crap off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One does need to remove that at the end of the day. So yeah. where our our philosophy is probably a little bit different, and that's because of the fuse and the difference between using a night cream and a, and a fused um, or a um, an emulsifier free um, product at night time. So at the night time, you're going to cleanse. You generally, when you're using a skin juice cleanser, you don't need to double cleanse. Sometimes you do. Um, one cleanse with a drench and spud sponge will get a whole face of makeup off. If you if you want to do a second cleanse, you can um, with either you know the Eden or the Pulp, depending on your your skin. Um, or if someone just wants to use just just the Eden or just the Pulp, they can do that as well. Yeah. Then you're going to juice, and juice can be either done on cotton pads or you can just pop it into your hands and splash it on your face. When the skin's still wet with the the juice, that's when you're going to pop your um, fused on and go to bed. When you yeah. wake up in the morning, you're going to find if you're a shower person. If you hop under the shower after you've used Fuse, you'll feel nothing slide off your skin. 
If you use a traditional night cream, then you'll feel it slide off the skin because all those emulsifiers are sitting on there to protect. And we need plant-based emulsifiers during the day to protect the skin against the um, elements. But at the night time, it's letting your skin breathe um, and allowing your acid mantle to, um, to strengthen. So it's like if you go to the doctors and you have a course of antibiotics, you kill the good and bad bacteria in your system and you have to give your body um, a, a probiotic to put back all the good bacteria again. Same with using fuse over night time. You're strengthening your skin um, and allowing the good bacteria that needs to be there to fight off all the bad things, so your infected pimples, things like that. You need good bacteria to fight the, the bad bacteria. If you are suffocating your skin and over cleansing, that good bacteria dissipates and it can't fight for itself. So you're strengthening every night by using Fuse um, and there's no emulsifiers. So everything slowly gets digested through the night time and it won't leave any residue on your skin when you wash it off in the morning. So you can either wash um, the skin with the, the spud sponge or just splash a bit of water on and then use your, um, your juice afterwards. You don't need to get cleanser and actually physically cleanse your skin. And a lot of skin types can't cleanse twice a day because they're too sensitive. And a lot mm. of people just don't have time. So at least I don't have to feel guilty about not having to cleanse in the morning if they're using Fuse. It's one less step that a tired mummy has to, to put into their regime in the morning as well. So yeah. think for that, not feeling guilty about something. <laughs> the two-second shower, yeah. That's love it. That. <laughs> Being a mum is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, there are two products that you would, I would imagine you would use, what, probably once a week or depending on the skin type, and that is Revival, which is the exfoliating scrub, and the vanilla and honey mask. Absolutely. Um, your Revival, when you are using the Fuse, you're probably not going to be grabbing for the Revival as often because your skin will feel softer. Yeah. Um, but when you do want to have a scrub once or twice a week is you know, all I would recommend with a revival and there's different ways you can use a revival as well. So for a thickened skin, what I like to do when you wake up after having fused in the skin of the night time, pop the revival on dry skin before you hop in the shower or once you're in the shower, dry skin and just let the, the um, revival sit on the skin. The fruit acids will really start to, um, to work to break down all those dead skin cells. And then add some warm water and the little circular motions and, and um, do a, a light scrub. The thing with Revival is you don't need to go over the area lots of times and you don't need to dig in. It is, it is um, a, a dual action scrub where you've got the fruit acids in the uh, mixture as well as having polished jojoba beads. So you're buffing and you're loosening with the dead skin cells. If you've got a sensitive skin, then I'd put it on wet skin after you've cleansed and the fruit acids aren't going to feel as bitey. And if you're a super sensitive skin um, and you're doing this in a facial as well, mix a bit of the drench in with the revival and it just pads it out a little bit so it doesn't feel anywhere near as body as what it does when it's just fresh on the skin. Mm. Your mm. vanilla and yeah, the vanilla and honey. Anyone who says, "Oh, I don't have time for masks," um, they don't have an excuse for this one because <laughs> this mask is for your tired mummies and your party girls and everyone in between. Um, there's no excuse not to do a mask once a week with this one. So when you're, um, you can use it the traditional way with, you know, putting it on a, a thick amount, 20 minutes and then hot toweling off or do what the rest of the world does and just pop it on when they go to bed. Mm -hmm. um, not so thick that your face is sticking to your pillowcase, <laughs> enough to, to really cover the skin and, and, um, and comfort it. Yeah. Um, and then you, you will have to do a little bit of a cleanse in the morning with that one because it's not emulsifier free. It's got yeah. your um, protectants of shea butter in there. So you will need to give that a little bit of a cleanse off in the morning. But your makeup feels amazing the next morning after you do a vanilla and honey. It's absolutely delicious. And if you've got, because it's got the Manuka honey in it, if you've got a client with um, sort of hormonal cystic pimples, it will actually help to bring down that inflammation and throbbing. It's got your kakadu plum in it as well, so lots of vitamin C in there too. So it's it can be used on all skin types. Um, yeah. And you know, just before you're going out as well, pop that on and your makeup will fit beautifully too. And you can I, massage with it in the salon too. Yeah, I I pop it on when I'm flying as per one of my girls' suggestions because yeah. I have really dry skin otherwise. Um, you can also use that as one of the professional masks 
during a skin juice facial too. Yeah. Yep. Um, there are health, there's a couple of other professional masks as well, aren't there? Yep, so you've got the Mango Mars, the Live, the Licorice and the Nutty Putty and your Alginate Rapid Peel Wash Mask. So your vanilla and honey, all skin types can use this one. You can massage with it during a facial as a massage medium and then maybe put your Mango Mud over the top for your, for your mask. So it's versatile that way. Your Mango Mud is going to be for your um, reddened, inflamed, um, dry, um, capillary, flush type of skin. Great one to use after waxing as well, just to calm down the, the skin after a wax, a facial wax. Mm -hmm. Your lively licorice has got your Dead Sea Minerals in it, and it's going to be um, an oxygenating type of facial, deep cleansing. You don't have to have oily acne, you just you need to have a sallow, thickened skin. It's just an enlivening type of um, facial that will go really well with the enlivening tincture underneath as well. And your Nutty Putty, um, is an amazing product that you can use in facials for oily congested skin, breakout prone skin, um, a skin that you've done a lot of extractions on, um, back treatments for, for back knee. And my favourite thing to do at the moment with the Nutty Putty is mix it with the green juice balm. And you can either use it as a massage medium because the zinc in the Nutty Putty is so healing for the skin. If you've got a sensitive, dry sort of skin that needs that zinc and the healing that it can provide, but it's too dry to put on as a mask, then use it in with your massage medium and um, it's like a little zinc drink for the skin. Same with um, oily acne skin, if, if they've just finished a facial and they're needing um, something a little bit more intensive to go home with, if they're just going straight home, mix a little bit of the green juice, the nutty putty, it will go clear on the skin, you won't see that it's on the skin um, and that zinc will just leave it on overnight and that will really help to, um, to calm the skin down, it's absolutely delicious and the the, um, the rate that a breakout will clear up as well after it's had a big dose of zinc is amazing. Um, you just mentioned one of my other all-time favourite products. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was called Massage Butter, but yes. it turns out that this product is so versatile that you had to change the name. We did. So originally designed it because green juice, um, or massage butter, um, when the other company brands that she was using in the, the salon before she created this product, you know, you'd clean the skin, you'd get all the extractions, you'd do peels, and then you would massage with a silicone-based um, uh, lotion that would clog everything up, and it just didn't mm. make sense that you do all that good work in a facial, and then you just bung it up again with with um, you know, some some congestants. So she designed this as a massage medium for the face, so that the skin could be healed whilst having a massage. Everything's got to have a dual purpose with Joe. She can't do anything that's just one dimension. So. Um, then she, all these clients were like, oh, can we use that for our body? Yep. And, you know, psoriasis, dermatitis, um, anything inflamed, itchy, red, sore, cracked, broken can be fixed with green juice. Yeah. Um, you can use it on baby's bottoms um, as, as a, a nappy cream. You can use it on um, chap lips. You can use it as a baby massage, cradle cap. Um, you can use it to remove face paint on children if they're been out to a fair and trying to get that face paint off at the end of the day can be challenging and some of the paints actually stain the skin. Um, so this will actually help to get out the stain as well. Yeah. Um, sunburn, um, eye makeup removers, you use it as a, a cleanser, you just have to remove it with a face cloth or a sub sponge. Yeah. Um, I use it as an eye cream when I had dermatitis on my eyelids and um, it's great under makeup as well. You can mix a little bit with your um, mineral makeup as well if you've got a super sensitive skin. It's absolutely versatile. Everyone should have a green juice in their bag. Um, mm. It's coming out in a mini size as well. Uh, that if you see anyone without their little pawpaw lucas cream, I um, my thing I'm saying at the moment is get rid of the red and put the green in instead because <laughs> it's just so much healthier for the skin. Yeah. And yeah. coconut is antifungal as well. So if someone is if they've got conjunctivitis or any type of um, infection that they're looking to um, um, heal, the green juice will be a great way to to start them off as well. Um, I it's one of our best sellers at Yummy Mummy, and I have super super sensitive skin. And sometimes when I eat the wrong food, and it's normally really naughty things, my skin just 
it's like it's burnt. It comes up with these big rashes and it feels awful. And I'm pretty sure it was you who suggested to me to put um, the green juice on. And I thought, oh, my God, you're talking to an oil phobic. I just don't know how I'm going to handle putting this on my skin. And no joke, the next morning I woke up and it was all better. And usually it it would take a week to calm down and heal itself. So, yeah, big advocate of the green juice. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think (laughs) when... When clients have burns or dermatitis or anything that they're putting the cortisone cream on, they get an instant release because the cortisone will um, thin the skin. Um, But what happens is it it weakens the skin. So the Mm. next time that that irritant happens, so if you've got that stress and it's bringing out or you eat that food again and it brings out the, the rash, if you've used cortisone cream to begin with, the skin hasn't strengthened, it hasn't healed. So the next time you go through that stress, if you're using something that constantly strengthens your skin, it's not weakening it, so it's going to have a better chance of fighting it off, maybe not becoming as sensitive to the same type of product again. So it's it's really a rebuilder and a repairer. I've had, um, I've cooked and I've, I've burnt my finger and I can see the, um, the, the blister starting to mm. form. So I just dunked my hand in cold water and just, took out that, that burn feeling and then yeah. just whacked a whole heap of green juice balm on it and sat there and the next morning the blister was completely gone. Yeah. So it really does heal with anything in flames um, and needing needing the repair as well. That's awesome. I love mm-hmm. it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, eye products. Now there yep. are two. two. Yes. So we've got um, your bright eyes and your white eyes. Um, bright eyes work from the same philosophy as the fused. It's emulsifier free, so it's completely digestible by the skin and it won't cause puffiness. A lot of people get concerned when they use an oil around their eyes that they're going to cause puffiness. It's actually used um, with jojoba oil and jojoba oil is the closest thing to our body's natural sebum. Your body really knows how to process that, so it's not going to cause puffiness. It's actually going to do the reverse. It's going to work on your... Um, puffy eyes, dark circles, and fine lines. So the comma filarian in the bright eyes is going to plump out the fine lines. The sweet fennel is going to work at the puffiness and getting rid of all that build-up that's in the skin. And also, um, as it's being detoxified, the dark circles um, from blood, not like stagnant blood, um, not hereditary pigmentation. That's a different um, type of condition. Mm. Um, but just the stagnant dark circles that every tired mummy has, it will help to reduce that. And I don't, I have never met a woman that doesn't want to get rid of all those three things. Mm. So you, you're going to bed, giving your skin an eye treatment. It's emulsified free, so when you wake up in the morning, you don't have to cleanse it off. It's all digested into the skin. Your white eyes has got your shea butter in it. Shea butter has a natural SPF of six in it, so it's giving you a bit of sun protection during the day. It's also a fantastic primer under your makeup. And it has green apple stem cells in it, which will help to regenerate the the skin. So it's a very light, easily absorbed type of cream, but it gives you that protection and that nourishment that your skin needs to. So bright eyes at the night time, white eyes during the day. So at what point would you apply the um, eye treatment? After you've moisturised or put the fuse on or before? Or it doesn't um, really matter. I like to do it before, and then that way I've got no fuse on my fingers that's going to go straight onto my eyes. Yeah. Um, that's just me. Um, if you can remember to put it on first, um, if you don't, then you can, you know, obviously put it on second. But there's no, there's no big hard and fast rules with those ones. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, I want to ask you a little bit um, about possible reactions that people may come. Off the top of my head, we have not had one for a very, very, very long time. Yeah. Um, and I think the only one we did have it was because somebody used a peel and an exfoliant in the wrong... Yeah, in the wrong order. <laughs> order, yep. <laughs> um, is there, if someone did come up with a um, reaction, what do you think is the best way to handle that or what would you say to the client? Yeah, so with a natural product, I think a lot of people assume that it's natural so there's no actives in it and it's not going to do anything on the skin. So I can put as much of it on there and I can do as you know do it, do it in any order and it's not going to make a difference. You still are dealing with ingredients that are bioactive and biocompatible for the skin. So you will get um, reactions from time to time. If someone 
physically is allergic to an ingredient. So if they have an anaphylactic uh, response to macadamia oil or macadamias, there's, a, there's going to be a chance that they're not going to be able to handle using the fuse or any products that have the macadamia oil in it. Mm. So anyone who physically has a reaction, even though it is natural, it doesn't mean that they don't, their body can't tolerate it. Um, so for anyone who has ticked off on their consult card that they do have allergies to something, um, I would always test patch. Um, I know that's annoying if they've booked in for a facial, but it's better than having someone sent to hospital. Um, mm. And if you, you know, if you've got someone who might just have a reaction, not necessarily be anaphylactic to a product. So in the liquid, you've got um, mandelic acid, which is derived from almonds, but it's not the complete almond. It's not like an almond oil. It's a derivative of the, the bitter almond. So some products like that, a client might be fine to be able to use. Um, but if you know that they do have a reaction, um, I think always the best way is to listen to their concerns. Um, ask about what you know, what process they've done, what what's happened, um, and you know, obviously say sorry as well. That you know, we're sorry that this has happened to you, and um, and let them know that what they've said is going to be um, actioned upon. So don't just go, oh no, we've never had that before, so um, I don't know what you're talking about. Always <laughs> acknowledge the client and try and get to how did we get this reaction. Yep. If you've had a peel and then you've gone and sat in the sun for 24 hours and not put any sunblock on, mm. you can probably safely assure that that reaction is not from the product, it's from what they've done before and after. Yeah. Um, if someone's overstimulated their skin, um, they've gone into um, a, a sauna or something that's going to cause some sort of like reaction that way, it's yeah. finding out what has happened on either side of um um, of that treatment and if they are um, generally a, a allergic and have had a reaction to the product we obviously will um, if you return the product we will um, replace it either with, with an alternative um, the green juice balm or something that will help their skin to recover um, yeah I would always just acknowledge that the client has had the reaction and try and help them in every way yeah we do have the step-by-step -step instructions, um, especially for the um, plumberry peel or any of the yeah. peels. Um, so they need to be followed because I would never want to cause that. But to anyone no, I can't. <laughs> no, no. And then, you know, you just get some people who the systems are so worn down, and they just they react to anything and everything. And mm. if you know that you've got a client who's a bit panicky when they come in, you know, don't offer offer them the um, the, the most intensive treatment you've got. Start them off slowly and build them up. They're, they'll respect you more if you're building their, their skin up because they'll see an improvement. Yeah. Um, if you've got someone that's really red and sensitive and super reactive, you know, um, you can cleanse with a green juice balm, you know, see see how that goes. Um, do the alginate mask with the recovery oil um, and infuse the skin and just calm it down and then start working on doing peels and things like that later on. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. Um, obviously, nut allergies um, you've sort of touched on. There are a few products that... Um, few <laughs> in yeah. skin juice that we probably shouldn't use. Uh, it's um, the ones to use instead. I've got the list here. Smudge Budge, Massage yeah. Butter, yeah. Biojuice Shine, yeah. uh, Vitamin C, Massage with Massage Butter, Mango Mud and Finishing with Citrus or Juice Drops depending on the skin condition. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. So that, that's your typical facial that you could use for somebody um, that does have allergies to nuts. Um, and if it's just peanuts, um, we don't have any peanuts in our products, but um, some people are allergic to um, like almonds or macadamias. Um, a lot of our products have the seed of the product, not necessarily the actual flesh. So for instance, in mango mud, we're actually using the seed of the mango, not the flesh. That's why it doesn't smell like mango. It smells like chamomile. Um, hmm. So if someone is allergic to mango, because um, we're using the kernel and the seed, they may not have the allergy because you know, most people haven't eaten the seed of a mango. Um, so just te um, checking with what part of each um, thing that they're allergic to um, causes the reaction. Yeah. yeah that sounds good. 
Ah, this is the big one. Our number one seller, the skin juice, mummy's tummy butter. Yeah. Um, why should why should people use that as opposed to any of the other products that are on the market? Because it's just heaven in a tub. Seriously, oh. it's the best. Sold. Problem <laughs> solved. Um, I think a lot of people get um, sucked into marketing with different brands. And, you know, we've all seen the ads on TV with a sad lady with stretch marks and the screen's black and white. And then all of a sudden she uses a particular product, product and she's all happy and glowing and her skin's, you know, scar-free. In reality, um, that doesn't happen and you don't see many before and after photos in those ads either. Um, but it works on the, um, the, the woman's insecurities and gives them a solution to their insecurities. With um, Skin Juice, we're not about playing on uh, clients' emotions. We're about giving them the best possible ingredients for their skin that is digestible, natural and safe for baby. So Mummy's Tummy was formulated um, uh, um, to protect the skin as it's stretching. If you think of like the soles of your feet, when your your heels are cracked um, and and open, they don't have enough essential fatty acids in that that skin because they're um, they're under pressure and they start cracking. If you feed your skin the right amount of essential fatty acids whilst it's stretching, it's not going to crack. And the stretch marks are basically your skin cracking um, and stretching, you know, to the absolute maximum limit. Some women's skin are um, predispositioned for it, and then there's other women who don't put a single thing on themselves when they're pregnant and don't get a single single stretch mark. Um, so with this cream, it's like a comfort barrier whilst stretching. Uh, the the term is prevention stretch mark prevention cream so we want to prevent the stretch marks from happening in the first place um, I would recommend with with this product to be used from basically neck to knee anything that expands and gets bigger your boobs you can use it um, if you're having a breast augmentation as well and you're stretching the skin um, that will definitely help with that the difference with skin juice ingredients as opposed to like your your um, body butters and your bio oils they are basically, they've got a couple of, you know, nice ingredients in these products, but they also have a lot of synthetic oils, um, colorants, pegs, and parabens, which are not good for your skin and not healthy for your baby either. So whilst they do have natural ingredients in them, they're not 100% natural and they're not 100% good for the skin, whereas the mummy's tummy is. There's nothing in there that is harmful for the baby or for the mum whilst being pregnant. Um, and it's feeding the skin essential fatty acids that will help the skin to stretch um, and comfort the skin and give that protection layer that it's needing whilst it's growing. Clients with um, itching all the time, it's really going to help to soothe that too. Um, and there's no artificial colorants in it as well. So if you do have a product that has um, fake colors in it, if that client goes out into the sun, it will cause hyperpigmentation. So we don't want to do that at all, especially with the skin stretched to the limit as well. Mm. Um, it, 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 there is a possibility of that. I would, I would look at you know things like bio oil, and it's it's like a um, a coloured version of baby oil, really. Mm. It's it's not good for the skin. It's not a healthy diet for a pregnant skin, and um, uh, you can use this post pregnancy as well. Just um, if you if you've received mummy's tummy after your pregnancy um, and you've got stretch marks, while they're still pink, if you're feeding the skin those essential fatty acids, it's really going to help to plump out the cells. It's going to help to heal the cells um, and help with the scarring. But if they're silver and, um, you know, like many years old, then you're probably not going to get those um, reversal pro um, uh, products that people are looking for. It's really about preventing while stretching um, mm. the, the skin. Um, do you have any other tips for helping prevent stretch marks? Um, giving them all the essential fatty acids, like getting them on a supplement as well, so their skin's being worked on from the inside and the outside. Yeah. Um, you can also use the mummy's tummy as a foot mask as well. Um, I love putting the tough stuff on soles of my feet and putting mummy's tummy over the top, like a little mm. mask, and going to bed. Your, your feet feel absolutely um, divine. Um, and anywhere that's dry, like if you've got clients who've got really dry shins and they're just looking for something to really stop that itch, you can put them on the on the shins as well. Or if they're going swimming a lot, um, you can you can put them in the 
um, on before they go in the water to um, protect against the dehydration from the chlorine as well. Yeah. Um, that is the other question that I was just going to quickly ask you about. Um, the body range in skin juice is beautiful. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the different products that are available? Yeah. So, again, multifunctional with our body products. Um, your aqua oil you can use during massage um, and you can also use it as a post-wax on the legs. So, for clients, how the waxing and this they're still a bit sticky, the, the aqua oil is really going to help with that stickiness. It's made from um, uh, soybean oil and it's got the beautiful rose geranium, so it's good for the nervous system and it's fantastic if you've got clients who have got varicose veins and it's throbbing, you know that throbbing feeling you get mm. with varicose veins? If you massage that into the legs of the night time, it's really going to help calm the nervous system. And then once the baby's born, um, uh, like I use it on my older kids though, um, because it, it helps to calm the the, the nervous system is great for a hyperactive kid at the end of the day as well. Um, the lemon sorbet, again, beautiful uh, light moisturiser for the body. Don't use it on the face. Um, and you can use that as a post-wax. A lot of clients who have had cancer are very, very cautious about what they put on their skin um, after having um, chemo or going through cancer treatment. Um, so when they go for their waxing, they want to know what type of ingredients are in their post-wax and a lot of post-wax on the market are full of parabens and pegs. Mm -hmm. When you've waxed the skin, it's exposed and anything can readily absorb into the into the system. So if you're putting your lemon sorbet on after waxing, that's the best chance um, to let the client know that you're using a post-organic juicy burst of goodness after each wax. Oh, it's, that was awesome. You like that one? <laughs> yeah, well, it just puts you apart from what other salons are doing and uh, it gives you an opportunity then to retail your post-wax because there's no point having a, a cream on the skin. They go, oh, that smells yummy. And you're like, yep, it does. Thank you very much. You want them to buy it. You want them to take it home. Yes. So the lemon sorbet, the best one, way to sell that is an underarm wax. Their, yeah. their nose is nice and close to their arm. Um, the lemon myrtle and the tomato leaf um, make it very germicidal on the skin, so infected um, ingrowns um, will uh, be assisted as well. Um, and also great for your boys who are just doing workouts at the gym and they want a light moisturiser that's not going to smell too girly-girly on them. It, it, yeah. It's a beautiful um, pH-adjusting um, product. So, yeah, after you wax, um, you can use the lemon sorbet after a Brazilian as well. You've got to, you know, be particular about what products you put on your bits after you've been waxed. Yep. And that is a very um, safe product to be able to be used, especially if the client is pregnant. It's nice and close to the baby, so you want to make sure you're putting something nice and safe on there too. Yep. Um I thought you were going to say something about a baby smelling it. <laughs> well, we just want to keep it on the outside. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe they might have like when they, they grow up and they smell lemon myrtle and they'll be like, that just reminds me of something. I don't know what it is, but it reminds me. Oh, dear. Um, what else? <laughs> um, you've also got your um, buff uh, scrub, which yes. is your walnut uh, kernels and your peppermint with lactic acid. That's another one if you're doing lots of Brazilians, selling a Brazilian and buff combo is a fantastic um, way to prevent ingrowns. Um, and it's, you know, again, delicate, sensitive bits. You want to make sure you're putting something safe on those areas and um, yeah. using an all-natural um, body product. And all of our body products, it's not like Jo goes, oh, well, I'll put all the good stuff in the face and then the body, yeah, you can just have nothing. She still puts antioxidants in her body range. So you've got your Arctic Cranberry, your Red Raspberry and your Pomegranate. They're what I call the three amigos. Um, because they're the three active bio blends that are pretty much in every formulation. So it's a great cheat sheet for um, for girls when they're learning skin juice. If someone says, oh, what's in this product? Just think of the three amigos, um, red raspberry, arctic cranberry, and pomegranate, and they're superfoods for the skin. So you're getting them in the body range as well as the, the face range. Yeah. Um, Moisture Manic and Tough Buff, they're great products that you can um, incorporate into pedicures and also um, uh, a great way to sell Tough Buff is if you see a client, they're on their tummy, they've got really bad heels 
and you're looking to either get them in for a pedicure or sell them a retail product, just pop a little bit of the tuck buff on the, the soles of their feet and their heels. When you're finishing the waxing, take over the um, either the aqua oil, the lemon sorbet, and just rub a bit over the top of their feet. When they get up from having their waxing, they'll look at their feet and they'll see the difference in the hydration level and the smoothness and the softness. And they'll be like, oh, I need to book in for a pedicure. Oh, I think I need to take some of that stuff home. So it's just Teasing the clients with little something that mm. you know, all my other therapist and my other salon, she doesn't ever put anything on my feet. Well, I want to make sure I look after you, Mrs. Smith. So, you know, here's, here's a little bit of tough buff. You know, it's a great seller and it's easy to use. Tough buff, again, lazy woman's pedicure. Put it on at the night time. Put your moisture manic, your mum's tummy, your lemon myrtle, all your perfect pores over the top and yep. go to sleep. And that one will um, work overnight and you can petty paddle in the morning and remove your um, your calloused um, build up on the on the skin without having to do a lot of work. So it's brilliant. Beautiful. Um, perfect pores. That's another really nice product as yeah. well. And boys um, boys love the perfect pores because it doesn't smell girly girly. Yeah. Um, it's got a beautiful uh, rosemary and lemongrass smell to it. Again, it's full of antioxidants. Um, very nourishing for the skin. And with your rosemary, because it is an antioxidant, it's going to be fighting off, um, uh, helping with your age spots and letting your skin not hyperpigment as, as easily as well. Sun juice. It's awesome. Awesome. It's so it, awesome. It is um, a skin food as well as it's just a bonus that it's an SPF. Yeah. Um, I get asked a lot about, you know, it's only 15 plus. Um, the difference between a 15 plus and a 30 plus is only 4%. And a 50 plus, there's lots of 50 pluses coming on the market. They are so full of chemicals and sensitive skin and young children cannot handle it and not to tolerate it on their skin over long periods of time. So your 15 plus is only 4% difference. Um, it actually got rated in as a 24, but because we didn't make it to the 25, they wouldn't give us a 25 rating. It either had to be 15 or 30, which is a bit disappointing. Mm. Um, but it is jam-packed full of antioxidants. So there are so many ingredients. Um, I would encourage everyone to get a sun juice and just look at the bottom of the, um, the ingredient listing and see how many ingredients there are in. Um, You've got your tartaral, which is in the liquid, which is your um, resin from re recycled timber. That's going to work on any infected pimples or breakouts. So clients who are concerned with a sunblock causing pigmentation, uh, causing breakouts, they don't have to worry about that because this won't clog the skin and it's actually going to help with your breakouts too. Um, you've got vitamin D3, which is... Um, very deficient in a lot of people because they're not going into the sun and when they do go into the sun they're wearing um, SPF. So we've put the vitamin D3 into the um, product so it's going to help encourage with um, uh, the deficiency in, in that and also um, it's just another multivitamin for the, the way to um, digest the, the multivitamins in the skin. You've also got your resveratrol which is your antioxidant from the red grape skin. Um, so you've got your antioxidants with that and kiwi seed oil, um, again, strengthening your cells so that um, your natural sun protectant will be um, increased as well. The zinc in it is amazingly healing. So if you've got a, an oily skin with breakouts, it's going to help with the, the breakouts. If you've got a dry, sensitive skin, it's going to feed us some zinc to heal. The pigment adjusting one is actually pigment adjusting. So I've used it on very dark skins and on my skin on super white and it's adjusted perfectly. So you can use it on your pink base, your yellow base. Your um, untinted is fantastic for boys. If they're not going to use a moisturiser, they're better off just using this during the day because at least you're getting your moisturiser and you're getting an SPF. Mm. Um, and young kids can use the, um, the untinted as well during the day at school because it's a physical blocker. It's yeah. going to stop the rays. It's like putting mirror on your face. It's going to stop the rays from getting into the skin in the first place yeah. as opposed to a chemical blocker that is going to um, infuse the, the skin into the sun and then diffuse it once it's under there. Um, it's delicious. Uh, great primer. You can use it all over the face, on the eye area as well. It's absolutely delicious. The best the way to sell this one would be at the end of each treatment, um, pop a little bit on the skin's going to glow and even if you're doing an eyelash tint or an eyebrow wax, anything where you can put this on their skin at the end, they're going to sit up and go, oh my gosh, my skin looks so beautiful and it yeah. will literally glow and it'll just walk off the shelf. 
Um, at what age can you start applying the fun juice? We've had some of them, some clients use it on their babies. We've had um, all of our kids are around the five and six um, age. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's it's safe. There's no ingredients in there that you can't use um, that are or are unsafe yeah. um, for for children. If you think of all the chemicals that are in fifty plus, that is mm. far more destructive for the young little delicate acid mantles than um, you know using something that is natural and can protect mm. the skin and and um, enhance the skin as well. Yeah, the um the tinted version of it, I'm I'm still in shock because I've tried lots of different tinted sunscreens in the past and I just look like a flat out idiot when I put it on. <laughs> um, one of the girls that works for Yummy Mummy, her, she is like black and I am like white. Like yeah. I am not even joking. I am like glow in the dark white. And we both put the tinted on and like we put it on our hand and you could see it was sitting on our hand. Then we rubbed yep. it in as yep. you would on your face. Yeah. And it just like smooth our complexion. We, you wouldn't be able to tell that we had the same colour. It's like, <laughs> amazing. It's amazing. And I, people don't believe me when I say it's pigment adjusting. And then after they've tried it, they're like, oh, okay. It took three years to get some juice on the market. And um, Jo was, you know, she had to find someone who could manufacture this product. When we got all the ingredients ready to go, there was no one in Australia that could actually physically produce it because they didn't have the correct machinery. It's yeah. so it's so specific and it's so new to the market that we couldn't find anyone to produce it. Yeah. So once people have tried it, they understand now why it took so long. And she could have just put your run of the mill sunblock together and just, you know, yeah, here we go. But that is not Joe's style whatsoever. She's yeah. a complete perfectionist and um this product is is delicious. No, delicious definitely. Skin. Definitely worth the wait. I love yes, it. Yes, yes. Glad, glad you like it. <laughs> it is. And just try it. The best way to sell it is just get it on people's skin at the end of a wax, the end of a facial. When someone typically would go, oh, I don't want to clog my skin up with sunblock, you just say, no, you're not going to clog your skin. This is actually an extra treatment cream that I'm putting on you. And mm. especially the tinted, oh, my gosh, the glow that the client gets when they sit up and look at themselves in the mirror after a facial, they're like, yeah. oh, and they'll buy it then and there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, um, and probably worth noting that there is a Facebook forum for all skin juice therapists, which is pretty good because um, the ther like therapists from all different salons, they all come together and help each other out with their questions. We're a little family, a little skin yeah. family. Yeah, and Lovely. we encourage anyone to you know put um, some experiences on there as well if you've had a positive. Um, review or a client, you know, before and after photos, um, please share them because I think when you have a natural organic product, people's expectations drop. They think, mm -hmm. oh, it's natural. There's no way I'm going to get um, any positive results from a natural organic grain. And then when they do that, it's like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe how great this is. Yeah. So it, it's really positive seeing people's before and afters. Um, as well. I That's hope good. everyone got a little bit of juicy information. Thank you so much, Jody. I really You're appreciate welcome. that. You're welcome. Surely um, I'll talk to you soon about juicy things. I look forward to our next, next juicy talk. Thanks, <laughs> Amy. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, Jody. Bye. Bye.